This is what happens when you call someone who doesn't have their voicemail set up. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. I think that is the worst. So in this video, I'm showing you how to set up your voicemail box on both iPhone and Android. First, let's dive into iPhone. It's a fairly straightforward process here. You jump into the phone application, and then in the bottom right, you have a voicemail icon. If you tap that, you will see right in the center of your screen an option to set up your voice mailbox. Tap set up and create a voicemail password. Now, this can be anywhere from four to six digits. I typically like to use a safe and secure four digit passcode that no one is likely to guess. Ahem, um, please don't uh, steal my password a and actually use something different. Once you've created your pin, you have the option to use the default greeting, which sounds like this. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Nine, seven, eight, four, six, zero, eight, two, two, seven is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Or you can record your own custom greeting. Just tap the record button, uh, talk for a few seconds, say something like, hey, you've reached Stetson, thanks for calling, I'll get back to you as soon as I can, or whatever you wanna say for your voicemail message, tap stop, tap done, and you're done. And you can see this number has been getting a lot of spam calls. And if you ever wanna change your voicemail greeting again because you realized it was awful and you were recording an example video for everyone else, you can tap on greeting in the top left and you can change your greeting either back to the default or record a new custom greeting. That's how you set up voicemail on iPhone. Here's how you set up voicemail on Android. And this may vary depending on your carrier or what type of Android phone you're using. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S20 for this example, and it's on US Mobile's Super LTE plan, which uses the Verizon network. To set up your voicemail, you're first gonna wanna actually call your own number. That will bring you to your voice mailbox. You will hear your prompts in English. Usted escuchará sus opciones en inglés. To confirm this change, press pound. To cancel this change, press star. But I don't language change. Hello and welcome to your personal mailbox on the message management system. This is a special introduction for new subscribers. To begin this introduction, we will set up your mailbox for your personal use. First, we will set up your password. Your password is a secret number that protects the security and privacy of your messages. You will be asked to key in this number each time you access your mailbox. Pick a number that will be easy for you to remember, but hard for anyone to guess. Okay, that's pretty obvious. Just do... Then, press pound. Your password cannot contain a series of consecutive digits. Enter the <laughs> new password between four to seven digits. Then, press pound. All right, they're on to me. Now, uh, what I actually recommend you consider uh, for a password is do a pattern on the keypad. So I'm just gonna do a random pattern I just thought of now and definitely don't use for anything else. Enter the new password between four to seven digits. Then press pound. Okay, I just did that, so. Your new password is two, five, six, three. Please select the greeting you wish callers to hear when they reach your mailbox. To record a personal greeting, press one. To select a standard greeting that will play your phone number, press two. At the tone, record your greeting. At the end of your greeting, press pound. So first you set your language. In my case, I set it to English. Then you create your voicemail pin. This one on US Mobile actually was smart enough, so I couldn't use the one, two, three, four super secure voicemail pin. And instead I had to use um, just a random pattern I thought of on the spot and definitely don't use for anything else. And now once you're done uh, recording your greeting, which is going on for far too long, you press your pound. Your greeting has been recorded as uh, recording your greeting, which is going on for far To re-record your greeting, press star. To keep the greeting you just heard, press pound. So you also have the option to re-record your greeting if it was awful, mine, mine was awful, so I'm gonna re-record it. Once you're satisfied, press pound. Greeting kept. Thank you, your mailbox has been set up. To change anything about your setup in the future, use the personal options menu. You can reach this menu by pressing four in the main menu. Remember your password, two, five, six, three. You have no new messages in your mailbox. To change your personal options, press four. To disconnect, press star. 
Thank you and goodbye. And there you go. That is how you set up your voicemail on Android. Again, it will vary possibly depending on what phone and carrier you have. But in general, that's it. That's the setup process for both iPhone and Android. So you can get your voicemail messages and allow callers that you care about, like your family and friends, to actually leave you messages. Share this video with anyone who hasn't set up their voice mailbox yet. I know you have a few friends who haven't. And be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson, and I'll see you next time.